guys, welcome back. This is episode 25, and we are ready to go to... Uh, I forgot the name of the ship, but it's one of the ships of the Migrant Fleet, where we are going to see what happened to Tally's father, and fight lots of geth. Tally so, here we go. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean, that's Normandy. No offense taken. For Admiral Rand's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard of Vast Normandy. I need to do Understood. a few things. Ship... Oops, I hit the wrong button, didn't I? Tally Zora, Shepard Vast Normandy. We're ready. Are you ready to take the Let's shuttle? Let's head to the Alarai. Of the course. Alarai. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those geth, Talizora. Kill us alive. Also, I looked it up, and the voice actor was Logan, so I was right. I knew his voice sounded familiar. All right, it's one of the smaller ships, which makes sense. Wow, they really did a the research upgrade did increase the ammo by quite a bit. All right, let's do a quick save now that we're on board. Let's see what we'll find. Yeah, surprise. Send the warp his way. Enemy down. All right, gotta get my shields back again. Nice job. We've got close to target. Ah. There we go. Watch out, guys. Here we go. Understood. Take him down before he takes it out. Miranda. That all? Power cells for heavy weapons. A laptop. Some credits. Quarry and log. Something slowing down the systems. We're taking down the firewalls to rebalance load distribution. Rails are awarded us to bypass standard safeties. Following security protocols will take too long. Hmm. Also, I noticed on the title screen it seems to be some kind of dying star. So I wonder if maybe the uh, the plot with the Geth and the Dark Energy might be important to the game's main plot as well. Just a hunch, could be totally wrong, but I suppose we'll find out sooner or later. Alright, let's start with the purple, and then another purple, and then some green up top. That was easy. Credits, uh, repair drone. This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. What made the part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves, signs of modification, clues to their thinking. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. Hastrum was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. Did that salvage gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that Father actually did all this. Those are two, uh, distressing possibilities. I like how the, that transition there too, between cutscene, or dialogue cutscene, and just, um, like, 
ambient dialogue. Who's running the system diagnostic? I didn't authorize. Oh, Kila. How many get their networked? All of them. Rail Zora. Shut it down. Shut everything down. They're in the system. I like that it's a video log too. That's they easily could have cut a corner there and just made it audio. But the fact that they actually made it into videos, that's really cool. So I need to go this way, so let's go this way first. Monitor. Alright, we need... Oh, I already missed one. That's just, oh, lots lots of these, jeez. Um, and then we need... Green and purple one. This one. And then another one with lots of white in the middle. Um... I'm getting the ones I will. There we go. This right. is valuable. Death shield strength. Could be cool. That we made the stop. Enemy. Top. Whoop. Here goes. Lots of damage. Any more, just the one. Oh, just the one, I guess. I really enjoy how the story and combat is mixed in this game. The combat itself is really fun, but it's really the story that drives your urge to keep going and keep playing. Find out what happens next. Return that uh, Jonah. Good, I haven't had one of these in a while. Uh, bridge down link. Alrighty, some more credits. Can always use those. I think there's going to be. Yep, I knew it. It just seemed like a good place for combat. Flush him out. I've got no shield. Yeah. Do you think it'd probably be a good idea to invest some points into warp sooner or later? There we go. We use it fairly often. This thing. Back. Ooh, gotta sit down a bit. Uh, girls, where are you? Need a bit of help here. Okay, there we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. What's over here? Some palladium. Another med kit. A lot of med kits around. Thankfully, we haven't really been needing them. Got a pretty good crew here. Another wall safe. Link bridge. Let's see why. Okay. And a wall console. Let's see what this, this reveals. Might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Not disagreeing with you. Did you know what kind of tests your father was running? 
No, Father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing things. something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? Maybe it's time for your people to let go of reclaiming your world from the Geth. You have no idea what it's like. You have a planet to go back to. My home is one pole breach away from extinction. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's hard because I'm a fighter. I, I, I really want to encourage them to take it back. But at the same time, the Spectre, part of Shepard, you got to look to the greater cause. And we may need the flotilla to help fight off the reapers and in that case uh you know one step at a time um sometimes like when you move you have to find a new home have the quarians considered colonizing a new world we'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment adjusting for exposure to a foreign colony would be even harder it's the right, difference between 60 years and 600 for anyone alive now to watch a sunset without a mask, we must take back our home. At the very least, we can take back one ship. Come on. Just from the estimates I've been hearing about, uh, the Quarians would lose a Quarian Geth War at the moment. Just what I've been told. And even if you did win, it'd be a pretty hollow victory if 90% of your ships were destroyed. <laughs> Yeah. I must want to take my grenade launcher again for times like these and they're all pumped up like that. Rounded here, aren't we? Ooh, right in front of me. I thought that was like Miranda or Tally. Lots of ammo if we can make it to it. I'm okay for now, though. That was really my worry. Alright, we're getting there. Anything up here? I guess we can't go over there. Alright. This is a cool design for ships though. It, it feels like a quarrying ship with like all the overhead compartments and all. Very compact and uh... Not a lot of wasted space. The make kit I don't need. The laptop. I feel kind of bad, like looting the credits of the dead, but I'll put them to good use. I promise. Hmm. So 
Seems like he was looking into some kind of specific anti-geth weapon, maybe a virus or something. Oh, is that him? Looks like him. Father! Oh, I'm sorry, Tally. No. No, no, no. You always had a plan. Masked life signs or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You sure he's in there? You wouldn't leave me hey. to... Hey, hey, come here. Aww. Poor Tally. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. Maybe he would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message. The main hub will be on the bridge. You'll need to destroy it to stop the VI processes from forming new neural links. Make sure Hangel and Darozen see the data. They must. Thanks, Dad. He knew you'd come for him. He was trying to help you. It's not perfect. It's not what you wanted. But it's the best he could do. I don't know what's worse. Thinking he never really cared, or thinking that he did, and that this was the only way he could show it. It doesn't matter. One way or the other, I care. And I'm here. And we are ending this. Let's do it. There's a wall there. A model flotilla ship. Hey, buddy. Well, how did that not hit him? Not the best cover. I have to do it. Watch out, Tally. Well, I, switch, I switch weapons at some point, I guess. Yeah, behind here. There we go. There's my submachine gun. Oh, get Prime, is that what that was? Yep. See, I didn't do very much to it. Oh, don't stay in my way, Tally. Don't want you to end up like your dad. Right of picture here. Watch out. Watch out, Miranda. There you go. All right. <laughs> like delivery. Who's delivering it from here? Weird that the guns don't, I guess it makes sense. They don't automatically uh, reload whenever you change weapons. Is that it? I guess that's it. This console is linked to the main hub Father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what Father did. That's what I was hoping for. You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble a new guest with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. It sounds like he was doing this for you. I never wanted this, Shepard. Kila, I never wanted this. Everything I here didn't. is his fault. I, 
I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the Admirals, not anyone. I mean, I'd like... Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never... Again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. Sorry about that. Uh, my headset randomly turned itself off. Okay. Um, <laughs> which... I don't know if you guys heard that or not, the recording. But either way, uh, I'm going to record it, or let's do it again, because I missed it. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I, I cannot. I wouldn't say that. He was well-intentioned, and it was an accident. A horrible accident, but still an accident. Rail Zora doesn't need you to worry about him anymore. You heard him say he didn't want you to be caught in the politics. You don't understand, Shepard. They would strike his name from the manifest of every ship he ever served on. He would be worse than an exile. He'd be a traitor to our people, held up for children as a monster in a cautionary tale. I can't let all the good he did be destroyed for this, Shepard. That is a tough call, but I guess we'll see. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admiral say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision, but please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. Well, that's a tough choice. I really wanted to help her, but if she doesn't want to be helped, like, it kind of should be her choice. We need Still. to face facts. Been no word. There is no reason to think Charlie Zora survived. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. We must run. Still, I think this is probably bigger than uh, Tally. It's about the truth and helping the flotilla. Hey guys, hold your horses. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. All right. Yeah, I don't want to say this one. You could have waited. You didn't waste much time declaring us dead. Go get your ship. We apologize, Shepard. Your success in taking back the Alarai is very unexpected. But also very welcome. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Moment of truth. Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Interesting. I'm just, I just like watching the choices here. Um, so, the three default choices are we have no evidence, which I guess would lead to Tally being exiled, but her father's memory being preserved. Rally the crowd, which would, uh... I don't know, maybe try for a best of both world scenario that I suspect it would fail, but I'm not really sure. And or you could just give the evidence. Um Then we also have the Paragon choice, I don't need evidence. Which I see I c I kinda feel like that's a like a BS third choice. Like I'd rather have to make that choice. That's what's so great about these games is that you have to make tough choices. I don't want a, a third way out um but we'll give it a try and see what happens tally help me defeat Saren and the geth of the citadel that should be all the evidence you need i fail to see what relevance you're not really interested in tally are you this trial isn't about her it's about the geth this hearing has nothing to do with the geth you want people to sympathize with them and Geralt wants to go to war none of you care about tally she knows more about the geth than any other quarian alive you should be listening to her, not putting her on trial. 
Tali Zora saved the Citadel. She saved the Alarai. She showed the galaxy the value of the Quarian people. I can't think of stronger evidence than that. Well, very well said, but... Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? I kind of wish you had to make that choice. Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Yay. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. I like how you can uh, advise them as well. Um, as much as I want to be with them and take back help them take back their home world, I just we have to pick our battles and the Reapers come first. If you appreciate me, then listen. The Reapers are coming. I'm going to need your help to stop them. Please, don't throw away your lives against the Geth. Thank you, Commander Shepard. I hope this board carefully considers your advice. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Tali Zora of us Normandy. Kill us alive. Yeah. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said... I wish I didn't. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. We can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Tell me about what your father said, what he did. You deserve better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. Oh. Come on, Tally Zora Vas Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. I'll take it. That was a really cool mission. I, despite the fact that the ending was kind of, I would have much rather had. Oh, lots of paragon points. I would have much rather had it have to be a decision. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Let's call the mission done. Mission summary, cleared of all charges, and her trust in Shepard ensures her loyalty to the mission. Political ramifications of Quarian war efforts against Geth are troubling, likely to need Quarian forces against Reapers, cannot risk additional instability. Yeah, I have to agree with uh, the elusive men on that one. Got her extra thing, and then another outfit, cool stuff. Might need to go research that now. Is your captain's cabin missing that certain something? Buy a pet. I have a pet. I have a space hamster and a couple of fish that hopefully are not dead because I haven't fed them. I do think I want to change my armor look again though because I don't really like the helmet. All right, let's Commander, do some research you too. A new message at your private terminal. Alrighty. Let's see any weapons upgrades? Nope. Armor upgrades, tech damage. Let's do that. Uh, tech cooldowns. Getting low on element zero, but let's go for it anyway. Ship enhancements. Don't need the med bay. What is this? Um, hmm. We need more palladium, but that would definitely be a good thing to have. I have to take a look out for some palladium. Geth shield strength. Sure. Anything else? That's just the retrain. All right. Um. First, let's head up to the captain's quarters. Mm. 
make those changes I mentioned and feed the fish. Gotta keep the fish alive. Wonder how often you need to feed them for them to stay alive. Probably not too often, but I did neglect them for a while. Alright, so I don't want the helmet. Even though it does give you a health bonus. Um, chest plate I like, and it gives you the power bonus. Definitely keeping that. Um, I like the shoulder guards. Yeah, we already went through all this, except the uh, material doesn't really matter. Um, is there a nice purple? Or like a black with purple trim, maybe? Black tin two. That's kind of cool. Not a lot of pattern choices. I'm gonna go with this one because this doesn't really look that good with the blue. Looks nice with the red though. It's kind of cool, I guess. I just wish they had a, like a nice dark blue. That's a little too purpley. It's kind of cool, I guess. Let's go with that. All right, um, and let's see my quarry and ship. There she is. Is that? I think there's one more ship missing. Here's my space hamster. Hey, buddy. We should name him. What should we name him? Oh, I think he made a noise. We'll call him Squeaky because he makes noises. Hi, uh, Squeaky. Squeaky the space hamster. I used to have a hamster when I was little. He was a. Uh, had him for a couple years. He was a long-lived hamster. Furry was his name. We called him King Furry because he had like five cages all linked together with this complicated maze of uh. Samara does okay. This complicated maze of. I think it's on this floor. No, it's not. It's on the crew quarters. Yeah. Of tubes connecting them. It was really cool, but uh. King Furry liked to stay in like one little corner of it for 90% of the time anyway. So he didn't really care that he had this giant palace. Is this not the right place? Port Observatory? Maybe she's in the starboard observation deck. There she is. What's this? Oh, it's just the ED terminal. I am glad you came. Uh, me too, I guess. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. Her armor would look better in a different color too, I think. Blue or purple, maybe. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morith. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. I figured that would be her quest. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Yeah, I was kind of wondering why she was putting off pursuing her target until after our mission. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. Aha. Uh -huh. Wonder if that's the VIP area. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. Wow. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. That is quite a long time. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, 
and soon after, you are dead. Ouch, that sounds like something from a bad sci-fi movie. But okay. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? <laughs> Wonder when why. When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morin. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I'm going to ask this because it's an option, but I would also answer it's not wrong to want freedom, but you shouldn't go around using that ability to destroy the minds of others, obviously. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. I she see. can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. That I did not know. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. Uh -huh. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. So that's interesting. I guess this one carries the genetic code then? How do we know she's not also an Ardak Yakshi? I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not that accept was awkward. it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find more. Still doesn't really explain why all her children are that way. Huh. It's weird, like, I don't know, I'd like to learn more about that. Like, how many there have been throughout history, how common they are. Are there any other existing families? How often does it appear in a genetic line? Like, if she doesn't have any more children, then we kill the three of them, or kill the one, and then the other two don't have children of their own. Would that eradicate them forever, or is it a dormant gene? Lots of questions, but I expect we'll be getting a few answers. All right. Um, let's head back upstairs, I guess. And we'll review our quest log and uh, check to see if we have any unread messages. Not necessarily in that no order. Messages for you, no messages? Oh, that's first. All right. So I'll end the episode in a second, but first let's look at what we have. We have basically a six more side quests to do. So we've done three. We have six. So a lot to do. Or are we missing... 
Yes, Samara, Thane, Garrus, Grunt, Morden, and Jack. Um, and then, okay, the main quest is just this one here. Um, so then we have to recover the Reaper IFF at some point. And once we've done that, and I guess finish off the other things we want to do, we can head uh, through the Omega Relay to the Galactic Core. But I'll probably do these first because I'm not sure if that's going to end or begin the final arc of the game. And I do want to make sure we get a chance to do these. Um, and there's also one more package on the Citadel. So maybe we'll go to the Citadel next. Maybe we'll help Jack. Not quite sure. Maybe we'll go to Omega. We'll probably do Omega after the Citadel because we have to return to that guy, I'm assuming, anyway, and drop off his packages. But um, yeah, I'll think about it for a little bit. And when we come back, we'll get started. I'll see you guys then.